So let's say I need all these data for this particular employee ID using a VLOOKUP. If I change the header name, instead of having an employee name, I will mention here the department. We are still getting the employee name instead of getting their department. So if I change the header name to the employee name, you can see based on this header match, we are getting the data. Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Dose. My name is Vishal and in today's video, I will show you how you can get all these data for this particular employee ID using a VLOOKUP. So let's get started with the video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe to our channel. Now let's move to the solution. To use a VLOOKUP, what we need to do is we have to simply type here VLOOKUP and our first argument here is search key. For the search key, I will select this employee ID. Then first we'll lock the cell and then here the next argument is range for the range. I will select this complete range, then lock the cell. And here the next argument is index or the column number from where to get the data. In our case, we are looking into the employee name, which is in the second column. So that's the reason we'll mention either two comma false and then simply close the packet. So now you can see we are getting the employee name against this particular employee ID. If I change the header name, instead of having an employee name, I will mention here the department. We are still getting the employee name instead of getting their department. Now to make a VLOOKUP advanced, we need to use another function here, which is a match. So we have to simply type here match. Here the first argument is search key. So the search key is this particular cell where we having all the header. Then we'll lock the cell and then the range for the range will select this complete range where we having all the headers name and then simply again lock the cell comma zero and then close the packet and press enter button so now you can see based on the header match we are getting the data now we have to simply copy this formula select this complete range and paste it here so now you can see we are getting all the data against this particular employee id so if i change the header name to the employee name you can see based on this header match we are getting the data so this is how you can use a vlookup to get all this data i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe to excel dose thank you so much for watching